Hello, my name is Robert Simpkins, uh, student here at Full Sail, and I'm here to talk about the Apple Corporation. Uh, Apple is well known and well renowned for their products, iPads, iMac, MacBook, iPhone, uh, iPod, and I'm sure there's other products that they've made, but they're well known. Definitely one of the more premier products of that of that electronic uh, of our electronic generation. They uh, products are pretty high priced, but for the most part, they uh, they are the best. And I mean, they're in homes all around the world. Usually more of a, a more high class part of the population uh, tends to buy their products because of the price. Uh, and it's been like that for over, over four decades. I mean, just a long time. Apple has pretty much uh, monopolized the market. Uh, there are many competitors we have Sony, Toshiba, Samsung, um, you know, even when you're talking about Apple televisions, Apple TV, uh, you know, you bring it to the market, Magnavox, and and other companies like that that don't sell iPads and, and our PDAs and our cell phones and things like that, but there there are many other companies that are very competitive to I to Apple, but none of the products seem to stand up time and time again to the I the Apple I Macs or Apple MacBooks or any sort of products that, that Apple comes out with. Uh, I'm sure they're they're one of the largest providers in America. And as, and as far as employees, you probably have a long history there at Apple. Uh, and once again, like I said, they, they have the best products in the world so far. As far as technology goes, Apple is number one. Um, I mean, there's a lot of Sony may come close uh, as far as phones and Samsung Galaxies. May come close, but Apple iPhone 5S and and Apple 5 and Apple 5C, those iPhones are are like the best. I mean, and they're just as good or even better as the first iPhones, or the first iPads. Now they have we have something called Retina Display, Pro Retina Display, which just revolutionized the displays on Apple products. Uh, external costs many many of the products are high priced very high price and they keep a resale price at that remains consistently high uh, now there may be high prices to repair or replace these items uh, and, and that that, that, could caught cat, that could stand as an external cost excuse me um, let's see, the market structure, like I said, is very competitive due to so many producers trying to get into or already into producing these type of personal, uh, personal computers for people, transportable, lightweight, there, there's too many, there's even companies like Kobe and, uh, smaller companies that, that, uh, really, you really are uncompetitive in nature have become competitive now that they are able to make an, an iPad version, you know, somewhat generic. And, uh, and, and that would keep some help some remain competitive because people who can't spend as much money will buy a, a cheaper product. Uh, but as far as Apple, I think they've pretty much monopolized the industry because they keep a constant consumer base and they're able to keep their prices at the same or higher or higher and they offer a variety of different uh, 
personal computers or laptops or you know home computers that that remain more than competitive I mean you don't even have to see an Apple commercial to know when you go buy one of their products you're, you're you have the best uh, the factors affecting demand there I mean there's students schools businesses that have needs for electronics a lot of them don't like to pay the higher price especially with schools and, and businesses such like that because they want a lower price and a higher supply um, and their prices get lower as the band goes up there's like so many people who want uh, some form of technology in their hand or in their home or in their school or in their business um, the new iPads and iPhones I think will remain consistently selling off selling off the shelf uh, they're not really affected by any other companies you know new next new thing Apple remains consistent in their in their uh, in their demand and in their supply which sometimes could be hard to find as they sell out so fast uh, I believe their demand is elastic because uh, the, just the superior products. I mean, they're superior to competitors, as I, I've continued to say over and over again. I don't think I can em emphasize it enough. Um, that that that's what keeps them beyond competitive. They they own the market, if you will. Um, I would say the only thing that would keep uh, keep Apple or make Apple more competitive if they can is to take over the cheaper line of products and I think they did that with the iPhone 5c and other cheaper model substitutes to the the, the premier line of Apple 5s you know uh, so I, I think that would that would definitely affect the supply as, as they will and have experienced the need for more 5S's that are selling off the, off the shelf or 5C's that are selling off the shelf. And I mean, everybody wants some students, teachers, government. Uh, the opportunity costs. Uh, they will be cheaper. I think they should, in order to keep the cheaper products coming, it should be more production, maybe even in other countries. Uh, and, and, and I think that would help them really outshine the Kobe's and the, you know, the cheaper versions of, of any electronic they come out with. Just imagine if they could control the, the, uh, the larger the community, the middle class and lower, as well as the middle class and higher. I mean, I think that it would, it would just take them to a whole new level and it would be complete monopoly. <laughs> but anyway, at this point in time, they have monopolized the market as far as, as far as the type of products they make superior to or comparable to the rest of the rest of the world, you know, the rest of the industry. Um, Competitors vary. Like I said, there are a lot of smaller companies coming out with technology and electronics that are similar or can just get the job done to an Apple product. You know, and I think that's one of the main reasons why Apple created iTunes and and the App Store completely different and completely solo to like Android's App Store, which can be. You know, you can have just about any phone that's an Android phone and use their app store. But with Apple, you have to have an Apple uh, product. You have to have an Apple ID and password and account. And you have to buy from iTunes or, or, uh, or uh, the app store. Um, but yeah, I mean, competitors are always there. You know, they're, they're eating off of Android apps and Android stores, Android phones. Um, so it's definitely a big, big, big competitor 
out there that will that has handled the 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 class of people who don't want to spend so much on on their product uh, whatever it may be and uh, I guess we're here at the end my name is Robert Simpkins once again uh, full sale week two and thank you for listening bye